when a projectile is launched with velocity v0 at angle theta0 and the motion begins and ends at the same height, usually ground level, then the distance r is the horizontal range. When solving a problem involving projectile motion, check first to see if the range equation applies. Keep this string of equations handy for use in various homework problems. You'll use this equation throughout the course, often replacing g with a vertical acceleration a sub y. The sine function has a maximum of 1, so the range is maximum when sine 2 theta equals 1, which happens when 2 theta equals 90 degrees or theta sub 0 equals 45 degrees. This situation involves motion at constant horizontal velocity v sub x while rising and falling vertically due to gravity. Here are some symmetries in this motion. First, the peak occurs at x equal r over 2, which is half the range distance. The time taken to rise equals the time taken to fall. At the launch and landing points, the vertical component of velocity, v sub y, is equal but opposite. For example, if v sub y zero is plus three at the launch point, then v sub y will be minus three at the landing point. The x component of velocity, v sub x, never changes. It has the same value at the launch and landing point. The angles at the launch and landing points are the same, theta sub zero. The range r is identical for pairs of launch angles spaced equally above and below 45 degrees, which are theta equals 45 plus or minus n degrees. For example, when n equals 20 degrees, the two launch angles are 25 and 65 degrees. The greatest range occurs when the launch angle is 45 degrees. The shortest flight time occurs for the trajectory at the lowest launch angle. This is weekend volleyball and soccer in Sydney. This person is about to kick the ball at a launch angle of 20 degrees and a range of 20 meters. What is the initial launch velocity? We will use these two sides of the range equation. For a range r of 20 meters and a launch angle theta zero of 20 degrees, we get v sub zero equals the square root of r times g over sine of 2 theta equals the square root of 20 meters times positive 9.8 meters per second squared divided by sine of 2 times 20 equals 17.5 meters per second. How many seconds did it take the ball to travel the horizontal distance r? From r equals v0 cosine theta multiplied by t we solve for t equals r divided by v0 cosine theta zero equals 20 meters over 17.5 meters per second times cosine of 20 degrees equals 1.2 seconds, which matches the time shown by the clock in the video. When the trajectory of a pass begins and ends at the same height, then the range equation applies and relates the distance r with the launch angle and velocity. The range equation works anywhere in the universe, including on the moon. The acceleration due to gravity on the moon is one-sixth of what it is on the Earth. Here is a golf shot on the moon how do the range distances compare for a golf shot on the moon and the earth if both are launched with the same initial velocity and angle? The range equation is r equals v0 squared sine 2 theta over g. Knowing that the gravitational acceleration on the earth is six times the value on the moon, we want to compare the range r on the moon and earth. 
we form the ratio range for the moon divided by range for the earth and then in the numerator and denominator we put in this equation setting the value of g for each when a launching mechanism produces initial launch velocities and angles v sub zero and theta sub zero that are identical on the moon and earth then we can cancel those factors in the ratio canceling the v zero squareds and the sine two thetas in the numerator and denominator leaves us with the ratio of one over g for the moon divided by one over g for the earth in the denominator here we have one divided by one over g for the earth that brings g for the earth to the numerator over here and likewise we get g for the moon in the denominator but this ratio is known to be six this means that tossed objects travel six times farther on the moon than they do on the earth in every chapter whenever we are asked to compare two quantities will form a ratio to most easily cancel common factors. These trajectories begin and end at ground level and so are described by the range equation. When skating on the moon, the range is six times greater. Here is the range equation. In this problem, a football is kicked from ground level with a velocity of 16 meters per second at a certain launch angle. Question A. If the duration of the flight is to be 3 seconds, at what initial angle should the football be kicked? Comparing the last two equations and canceling the common factor V0 cosine theta 0 gives sine of theta equals 1 half gt divided by V sub 0. Please show the arithmetic and that theta equals 66.7 degrees. Question B. What is the range of this trajectory? Using this portion of the string of equations, the range R is initial velocity V sub zero multiplied by time times the cosine of the initial launch angle. Please write down the arithmetic to show that you get 19 meters. Question C. What is the other initial angle that results in the same horizontal flight distance? The range equation gives identical ranges for the two launch angles, 45 plus or minus n degrees. Here we have n equals 66.7 minus 45 equals 21.7 degrees. This is a higher angle, so the other lower angle is 45 minus 21.7 equals 23.3 .3 degrees. What is the range in this case? We have r equals v0 cosine theta multiplied by t and we get 19 meters again. What is the duration of the flight if launched at the lower angle? Arranging this equation for t, we have t equals r divided by v sub 0 cosine theta 0 and we get 1.29 seconds compared to 3 seconds when launched at the higher angle of 66.7 degrees.